Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and tonight we are doing our third meal from my second Blue Apron unboxing. And I'm really excited because tonight is a pasta. It's going to be the Bucatini Pasta Bolognese. So I'm so excited. It seems like it's gonna be a little bit different because we haven't had a pasta yet. So I'm really excited and I hope it's not gonna take too long. It's a little bit late. It's a Saturday night that I'm doing this and we wanted to make sure that we used up the entire box before, you know, anything spoiled. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the recipe, show you what it's supposed to look like, and then we're going to look at the ingredients, and then we're going to get into it. All right, guys, so here is the recipe sheet. It's the Bucatini Pasta Bolognese with Brussels sprouts. So that's what it's supposed to look like. It says tonight's recipe features a time-tested combination in Italian or combina combination in Italian cuisine pasta with meat sauce. For delicious texture and a bit of seasonal flair, we're stirring thinly sliced Brussels sprouts into our bolognese to contrast beautifully with the chewy bucatini pasta and tender beef and vegetables. A garnish of Parmesan completes this classic comfort meal. And so down here, it gives us our little ingredient list, but I have already pulled everything out, so I will show you. We have our Tradesmium Premium Cuts Premium Ground Beef right here. And then they give you one carrot and one um, celery stalk. We have our really pretty grated Parmesan cheese, so that looks really nice. We have a packet of tomato paste. We have our shallot, our bucatini pasta, and then of course our Brussels sprouts. So you can kind of see those right there. And then I always like to show you guys, they do put in a nutritional fact for each meal. So this one is going to be um, actually very high. A lot of ours have been in the 500 to 600. This is going to be 800. So total fat, 33 grams, cholesterol, 110 milligrams, sodium, 350 milligrams, total carbohydrates, 91 grams, protein, 42 grams. So that is what we are looking at tonight, guys. So I am going to go ahead and we are going to get into it.
Hey guys, so I wanted to recap the dinner that we just had, the Bucatini Pasta Bolognese. So I grabbed my little uh, recipe sheet and I have to say, this was a very filling meal. I couldn't even eat all of my portion because it was really, um, it was a lot, but I think it was just, you know, pasta fills people up, I think, quicker. Um, the noodles were really great. They were nice and thick. Um, they cooked really well. And what was interesting is I really think that this was kind of a, a pasta dish that really incorporated a lot of vegetables, which I have never done before. Um, I mean, I put onions in my pasta usually, but I've never put Brussels sprouts or carrots or um, anything like that. So it's kind of a way to trick yourself into eating more vegetables because you couldn't really taste them that much. I mean, it was more so, it was more noodly. What I was kind of missing though was the tomato paste definitely was not enough for me. Like I prefer more of a tomatoey taste and I really didn't taste much of the tomato because it just wasn't a lot in the actual um, sauce. So there was a lot of meat, that was good. Um, it was very like salt and pepper. I wish they would have given us like basil or oregano to add to it because I think that would have just added to the spices. And again, that's something you can do on your own, but I'm trying to stick to the recipes so that I can give you kind of like my thoughts from a perspective of somebody who might not have anything in their kitchen to add to these types of meals. So I would say because I couldn't really taste the... Um, tomatoes in it or the red the tomato paste I would say that this meal was just okay it wasn't bad it was definitely good and I was filled when I um when I was done eating but it's definitely one of those that I feel like there could have been some extra stuff added to it to make it taste just a little bit more flavorful um, instead of being so noodle based but I will say what I enjoyed about this one is that everything kind of went into one bowl so you didn't have a ton of like extra pots and pans although you still had some this was probably one of the easiest meals to prepare in the sense that it all ends up in one place and there's no extra sides or anything um, so that was interesting to note as well so this was my final meal of this past week's box and I'm trying to debate right now whether I want to try HelloFresh and do that for a week and then give you guys a review and maybe a comparison between Blue Apron and HelloFresh. If you guys have any ideas for me as other subscription um, food services out there, let me know because I'm not sure. Those are the only two I know of right now. But I would be happy to try them because I think price-wise it is worth it for us to do this as a couple because it really does um, cut down on our cost for buying food and then not having any excess. I really do appreciate that all of the food you use you don't have any extra and there's nothing left over. So I like that. That's a personal win for me and I have enjoyed these like I said. Um, I don't think any of these this week were, I think my favorite out of the week definitely was the chicken. So that was our midweek meal and um, I would say the pasta was probably my second favorite. So um, that was kind of my thoughts on the meal tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.